someday It's hard to win, hard to pin one day I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cast and Home. I am so excited to have you guys join me for today's cozy homemaking and get it all done. We are just going to try to do as many things as we can get done today. It's the perfect day, it's pretty overcast outside and I thought it was the perfect occasion to share with you guys a super easy crock pot fall recipe as well as do some baking and just a little bit of everything so I hope you guys enjoy this this video if you guys do please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I'm also very excited to tell you guys that this video is in collab with a group of ladies here on YouTube so I will have all of their videos linked down below in the description box for you guys so you guys can head on over and check them out when you're done with my video we are all doing some type of homemaking video so you can be sure to expect some cleaning motivation amongst other things from them as well but I want to go ahead and get started with some of the things I picked up from Target this morning I actually just got back so I want to show you guys because I'm sure two of these items are gonna sell out pretty quick and I want you guys to be able to get your hands on it the first thing is this really cute shirt that I am wearing I will pop up a picture of it because you can't kind of can't see what it says but it just says um, it's a bunch of hocus pocus and I just I love this so much the price was so good too it was only $15 and they do have 20% off of their clothes right now so it was really inexpensive and it is such a cute shirt perfect for this time of the year I'm actually all dressed up because I I also have to film a haul video today but I also got this super cute graphic also for this time of the year and it is just this really cute like a bony hand and this one was only eight dollars i did get both of these in a size extra large for reference i just like my shirts like baggy and comfortable and after you wash them they do tend to shrink down a little bit so i went with extra large and i am so happy with them i love this one i think this one is a hit i think it's adorable but anyways i also got this pair of boots right here and i love these you guys know i recently recently purchased a bunch of like their combat boots. I purchased two of them from Target, but I needed or wanted something for like dressier outfits. So I thought this was perfect. I've been looking on Amazon and they're around 40 to $80. So these were 35. I did have a 5% coupon and then a 5% off for using my uh, red debit card. So got these these are super cute again just a tad bit too big but i think with some like fluffy or cozy socks they'll be perfectly fine and then next up i got this table runner this is for my halloween decor at least that is what i'm intending it to be and this was a 15 dollars if i don't end up using it i'll just return it and last thing is just this um, oven mitt and pot holder set. I just really loved the color and this was $10 from Threshold. But that is everything I got from Target. Now let's go ahead and make some dinner. I know I have shared this recipe with you guys before, but it is such a staple fall recipe here in my home. Jonathan and I absolutely love it and it is so simple to make and has simple ingredients that I'm sure you guys have in your pantry already so it is white chicken a chili so let's go ahead and get that started and then move on to the next thing
okay friends so i have shared this recipe with you guys before so i won't go into super detail but i will leave the ingredients down below in the description box for you guys but it's super simple and easy all you have to do is basically dump everything inside of the crock pot and put it on high for six hours or on low for eight hours and that is it midway through that time once your chicken is ready you can go ahead and shred it put it back in there for the remainder of the cooking time and that is it you will be the last one to think Okay friends, so on this specific day, I had to get some filming done so you are seeing some behind the scenes of what it looks like when I'm filming at least a decor haul and yeah, I just got that done before we moved on to any cleaning or baking but make sure to stay tuned till the end to get a glimpse of all of that. Okay friends, so this is the reality of filming. It just becomes a mess right after. So I definitely have to get some cleaning done. But before I do, I actually do want to go ahead and change because since I do want to do some baking, I don't want to be all dressed up. I only dress up for filming to be quite honest with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and change real quick. But before I actually change out of this, I want to show you guys this outfit because I thought it was so cute. So let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. Okay, hey friends so this is the outfit i think it's so cute i'm just wearing some black jeans from american eagle the shirt i got from target this hat is from amazon and my boots are from target so i just thought it was such a cute little outfit and i wanted to share it with you guys before i take this all off and just get into something comfy so we can get some cleaning done and some baking so yeah, such a cute outfit. I'll have as much of it linked down below for you guys. I've gotten some requests to share my outfit. So that is why I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys. But let me go ahead and change real quick. And then we'll get going to picking up the house. Okay friends, so once I was in something comfortable, I was able to put away everything I used to film as well as start tidying up the house. Usually my daily routine is really easy. It just involves putting up some pillows, folding some blankets, putting a few things away and just tidying up. Nothing too deep or serious. The same thing goes for the kitchen. I usually have dishes to wash and just clean the countertops. So super simple and once I get it down, it is done and I'm ready to move on to whatever else I need to do that day. Okay friends, so I think I totally forgot to show you guys, but I also picked up this apple cider. Mrs. Myers, a multi-surface a cleaner. Finally, I found it at Target this morning. This is my favorite scent. I've been using the acorn one, which is really good as well and comes really close in tie with this one, but this one is my fave. So I'm so happy I found this. In the back of the been lost for years, far away from the glory, in the midst of our day-to-day -day routine, in the corner of our minds, we're not in Okay hey everyone, so I took a quick little break after I picked up and I went to go grab myself a pumpkin caramel brulee cold brew from Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros is actually like just right across from the street where we live and I had a free coffee or enough points for a free coffee on the app so I said why not? I could have easily made one here. I am going to be making coffee later on tonight but I wanted something right now just refreshing and cool and I wanted to try it out 
even though I don't like caramel, but it is really good. So I highly recommend it. But I also decided to just go ahead and go because there is a discount tire right next to it and I needed to air my tires. So I got that done. And now that I'm back home, I'm ready to get started on some baking. So I'm just gonna round up all of my ingredients and we're gonna get to making this super yummy pumpkin a coffee cake. I think that's what it's called. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay friends, for this recipe, I will be popping up the ingredients on the screen for you guys. But all you're going to do is you're going to first mix up all of your dry ingredients in one bowl before you move on to adding your wet ingredients to a separate bowl. Once you have your wet ingredients, you are then going to put it in a mixer or just mix it with a hand mixer. And then you're going to add your dry ingredients slowly. But that is everything. The ingredients for this is super simple and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have all of them in your pantry already. So again, just an easy and simple fall baking recipe i will leave it linked down below the exact recipe i use so you guys can refer to it if you need to but again i did pop up the ingredients on the screen and i'll have them linked down below in the description box for you guys in your eyes no disguise Okay friends, so once your batter is ready, you'll notice that it does have a doughy consistency, but that is exactly what you want. Once that is done, go ahead and transfer it into your baking pan and just spread it all over the baking pan. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to making the streusel part. I think that's how you pronounce it, but basically just making what you're going to sprinkle on top. Once that is done, sprinkle it on top of your batter and place this in your oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes, however long it takes for you to put a toothpick in it and for the toothpick to come out clean. That is how long you want to bake it for. Okay friends, and you guys already know if I'm baking something for us, I am also baking something for our dog. So I'm just making some quick pumpkin peanut butter treats. I will leave the ingredients down in the description box, but these are so simple and easy. Three ingredients, just go ahead and mix them and then add them to a mold. Bake these for 10 minutes and that is it. This is how they both came out once the treats and the cake were ready. Okay friends, so while we are waiting for that pumpkin coffee cake to cool down before we make the topping syrup that's going to go on top of it, I did get an exciting little delivery and I wasn't actually going to share this with you guys until I wore it in a decorating video, but since it got here, I might as well show you real quick while we wait for that cake to cool off like I said but I found this shop on Etsy and I was really really excited because I loved this design so I decided to reach out to them and ask if they would offer you guys a coupon code if I shared in one of my videos and they said yes so I have that I think but it is this really cute sweater this is a pullover I love it like how cute is this so it just says uh which is brew coffee co stop in for a spell since 1962 and i just thought it was such a cute a little pullover and uh, like i said they did give me a coupon code for 15 percent off if you use cast 15 so this is going to be valid through the month of october so if you're watching this today definitely go and check out the shop i will have everything linked down in the description box but uh, let's go ahead and move on to to prepping a dinner i just heard jonathan got home and then we can finish the little desserts and make some coffee and just cuddle up for the rest of the night
Okay friends, so once the coffee cake was cool enough, I made the glaze for it. All it is is powdered sugar and milk. You're just going to mix these two until you get a glazy consistency. And once that is done, you're going to glaze this on top of your coffee cake. And that is it. It's so super simple and this is delicious. So, so good and perfect to enjoy with a cozy drink. If you guys didn't catch my fall cozy drink recipe video, I will go ahead and link get up in the corner for you guys but I did put this to the side because dinner was ready so I have shared this white chicken chili recipe with you guys before and you guys already know that Jonathan loves it so I just went ahead and served us some so we could have dinner together there is no taste test for this. We have shared one before. Jonathan thinks it's a 10 out of 10. But once we had dinner, we then moved on to having some dessert. So you guys will see that taste test in just a second. In the back of the room Been lost for years Far away from the glory Midst of our day-to-day -day routine In the corner of our minds We're not in friends so Jonathan's gonna do the taste test before we actually cuddle up on the couch to watch a movie and have some coffee so he's just gonna take a bite let's see what he thinks so what is this it's a pumpkin coffee cake The struggle is real. Yo, oh, is this the type of dessert you have to? Yeah, with eat? the pinky out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Good? It's crunchy, huh? Yeah, the top is crunchy. Is the soft, like the, the bottom soft? Yeah. Okay, don't eat it all. I'm gonna you, make some coffee. You could say it's soft. Yeah. It's like mm. a, um, like thick on the bottom. <laughs> Not like that. Just thick. Yeah. All right. What's your rating? I'll give it ten out of ten, Johnny. Nice. Ten out of ten. All right. I'm gonna make some coffee. So we can finish, or you can have your second slice, whatever, but I'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna sit down and relax for a while. Take your time, fall in line someday. It's hard to... So like I mentioned, I went ahead and I made us some coffee so we can enjoy that coffee cake and just enjoy some afternoon cuddles. So while that was brewing, I went ahead and I gave the puppies their treats so they could enjoy those and they love them. My dogs are just the little cutest things in the world. I absolutely love them. Like look at Penny, she was laying down and she completely still ate her treat. Of course, we were watching her, you guys. I know she's laying down, but she's completely fine. And then I moved on to serving the coffees and once that was done we went and we sat down on the couch and just enjoyed a cozy afternoon and that is everything for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a lot of fall cozy homemaking motivation definitely let me know down below if you liked this video and if you're gonna try out any of the recipes and until next time i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you guys in my next video bye